everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video so for today's video we've been putting up this off for a while a lot of people have asked for it but we're doing a home buying q a okay is that what it's called yeah. well you're like okay as if you didn't know who's doing it oaks new here <laughs> so we asked you guys on instagram for any questions that you had i'll leave my instagram on the screen here go follow if you don't already if you want to be involved in the next one we've actually got quite a lot of questions to get through a lot of them like the same so we're going to answer them like generically ready for this ready yeah we're going to get straight into it so if you do enjoy give the video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below for more and yeah let's Sky get bike. started huh <laughs> Shut up. question one how much did you save for a deposit and how did you decide on a house location etc good question we've had a lot of them where it's like how much did you save we're not going to like yeah, tell you exactly how figures. much we saved but we saved a 10% deposit for the house. Yeah. I know you can get, some banks will do 5% deposits, but we just did 10 because, yeah. I don't know why we did 10, it's just. You, you pay less interest, don't you, if you put a bigger deposit down. So the more deposit you put down. The cheaper it The better it's gonna be, yeah. yeah. Cause it's lending, your, your interest like just be higher and higher. Yeah, see Oak did all like the actual work. <laughs> I literally just <laughs> saved some money, I was like, there you yeah. go. Yeah, stressing out on my own, like just. Yeah. You but no I worked from was, home there, so it was the easiest option for you yeah, to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we saved enough for a ten percent deposit on our house. You can save enough for a deposit, but then if you want to move into a property, you've got to have well. You don't have for, to. You don't have to, but for us, we wanted money to be able to just make it our own straight away. Because if you're living in somebody else's house, the way they've had it might not be what you it's want. It's not really. I don't really. As soon as I moved in here, like I wanted to change it straight away. Yeah, but I think if you move into a house that's already done up and you love it, you can keep it as it is. That's yeah, fine. yeah. Lots but ours was just like outdated. Yeah. Not our vibe. Needed a lot of work, but that attracted us as well. So I was saying to Shan, I don't want a house where it's literally just been done one grey the whole way through. Like I want a house that we can work on, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of work. There's a lot of work house. in this house, a lot more than we actually thought. Oh my god, we're gonna get started on that. <laughs> yeah, that's a, like a whole other question. But location, yeah. basically, it was cheaper here. That's yeah. like the bottom line of it. Ideally, we'd wanted to move closer to where we lived before, but it's just cheaper here, so for it's not that far away. Yeah, you get more for more for your money. Yeah, that's like another thing as well. When you're buying a house, location is important because it depends where you live, depends on your house price. Because me and Emily have got pretty much the same house, and hers is nearly double the price of ours. Did you know that? That so is all about location. Our house is literally the same, but hers is almost double the amount, which is crazy. It is mad, isn't it? Mm. Next question. Uh, did you use a house by ISA and how does it work? If so, we did. Yeah, but, but they don't, don't do them anymore. Yeah, uh, did they not? No, nah, definitely. I thought it was. They stopped them in 2019. We opened ours just before they stopped doing them. It's but got we to be opened ours. I know they do some, I don't really know like about ISAs and stuff, even though I work in the bank a lot. But they do something called a lifetime ISA, which you can use to buy a house, but I don't know like what the benefits or anything are of that. Yeah. But the house buy ice is basically you can put in up to £200 a month by standing order and the government will give you 25% extra on top of whatever you save. That's how it works. So we got a few no thousand from the government. Now if you can't get them. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> the house buy did help with our deposit. Yeah, 100%. It helped a lot with like, what we were putting down. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's a sad situation because you can't get them anymore. But yeah, if you are looking into buying a house, look at the lifetime ISA. I don't know what. I know you can use it to buy a house. giving you advice here, she doesn't even know if it's good. <laughs> <laughs> don't listen to me, I know nothing. I don't nah, know but if you are looking for a house and you, you, look in, you look for that stuff anyway, like, what's going to help you? There'll be loads of articles you can find. Yeah, there. they do loads of government schemes as well, which is another question actually. Where is it? Did you buy all of your house or are you only doing 50%? That's kind of like a... Shared ownership. Shared ownership. Well, I don't know. So you basically can like buy half your house and then pay rent on the other half, so you only own 50% of it and you can like increase that over time but we just did the normal mortgage the whole house is ours basically but there is a lot of government schemes out there that can help so we've got the help to buy scheme the shared ownership but i don't really know like the ins and outs so you're gonna have to do research on yourself mm -hmm. when you're looking as well like make sure when you're looking at properties it will say somewhere because like you, you put in your price and then you'll see a house and you'll think no way is that yeah is that you're going to get this, that house for this price and you'll go into the details and it'll tell you that it's Shared ownership. Yeah, you're basically buying 50% of the house, somebody else owns it. Yeah. And you basically, you pay for it while you live in it, but... You pay rent on the rest of it as yeah. well. So, it's so basically, you're paying off their mortgage and your mortgage. Do your research. Whatever the best research. for you, you do. But we just did like the normal mortgage, 10% deposit, house is ours. Someone just put, it's not a question, house hunting experience. 
That's a good one. I'd actually say I was so lucky, you know. We were so lucky so to get this lucky. house at the price that we got it at. Majorly lucky. Oh, we was looking at houses in the same area that were more expensive than this house we're in now. I think we, we viewed, was it three properties? We'd only viewed like three properties, wasn't it? Two? No, we viewed your one, the one I liked on the front of the uh, gate, yeah, and three. this one. Yeah, we viewed three, forgot about that one with the... Basically, we looked at this other house, it was sick, it was like massive, gates on the front, it had no heating, so it was going to cost like four grand to put yeah, heating, so it was like, uh, away, like that no. just kills you. <laughs> we found a house that I experience. really, really, really loved. It has like a massive extension on the back, it's four bedrooms. I was like, oh, I'm going to want it. But the area just wasn't great, so we had to be realistic and was like, you can't have that one. That's outweigh pros and the cons. Yeah. And this is just... I'm so happy with my house. Our house is so cute. It's, it's like the perfect first home for us. I was viewing this house, there were so many people viewing it. it oh like, yeah, this is what I wanted to say as well. What? When we came to view it, there was about, no lies, there was, we got here, all the car parking spaces were taken on the road. Yep. And there was a people. queue outside the house of people like waiting to view it. Mm -hmm. We had to book, an, book a viewing and it was like, you get 10 minutes to, to view the house. This was like during COVID time, so you can only have two people in. I went in with Shan first, we literally did like a five minute little tour. I don't think it was five minutes, minutes. it was literally just like, meow, yeah. out. We had, like, there was literally in and out, like, they didn't even show us around any of the rooms, so it was like, just go and look at it yourself. Have a look, bye. And then got my mum's approval. Yeah, yeah. took mum's in. But at first, when Oak sent me this house, I was like, mm, don't, I don't love it. Yeah. But then I came here, I was like, yep, yeah, I want this one now, please. This this house as well, it wasn't even a house that we'd found online, like... Yeah. When when you register with, like, an estate agents on properties that you want, so you'll put, like, a certain amount that you're willing to spend, how much you're willing to pay a deposit, what areas and stuff, semi-detached, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And then they will, like, put you on an email list, so if there's a property that comes out, they will email it to you, and... Most of the time you look at it and you think, nah. No thanks, yeah. But this was one that sent to me and I looked at it straight away and I was like, that's sick. Mm, they sent it to me Jan. and I was like, I think it's because I had my heart set on the other one. You didn't even, she didn't even want to view it. You didn't no. even want to view this house. And now we're here. <laughs> what was the worst part of the process? <clears throat> the solicitors are the worst part of the process. They are shit. <laughs> the solicitors cause us so much stress. They're just, there was no like communication between them and the estate agents. It was Oak doing Shocking. the communication. He's calling them like, What's this doing? And they're like, oh, call them. So he called them, and then he's like, call back to them. All the paperwork gets done legally. I don't know the ins and outs of it, but it got to a point where in like October, the solicitor said to me, We're waiting for responses to inquiries we've made about the property to the seller's solicitor. So I was like, Okay, we'll, we'll wait on that. Don't put no pressure on. And then it was the following month we called again. So it's a whole month later yeah. without hearing nothing. And they said the same thing. They said, We're still waiting for responses to inquiries. So I was like, Okay, that's weird. And then I think I waited another two weeks. And then I called the estate agents and said, we still haven't received any responses from the seller's end. And she's like, okay, I'll chase it up. She called me back and then said, the seller's responded back in October. So Bullshit. we was literally waiting all that time. And, and in actual fact, our solicitors had received the responses. They just like, missed them or whatever. Yeah, so, so, so like, that delayed stress. the process for like a month and a half just because they weren't on the ball. And that's from me chasing it. Like if I didn't chase that, they wouldn't have- We been, probably still wouldn't have had that they would have, They would have just missed it. Like it, it's a joke. <laughs> so yeah, that was frustrating, like majorly frustrating. Um, but yeah, the solicitors, I don't know if it's the same with everybody. You might have some people that, but I've, I've heard a lot of stories where solicitors just long out the process so much. But like, it's, it's because they don't keep you in the loop. Like they don't let you know what's going on. If I was to let you know and say like, blah, 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 that's it. You know then, eh? you're in the clear, you understand what's going on, but we just didn't have no clarity about because the situation. Because we first time buyers as well, we didn't know what was going yeah. on, and we were just like... And they'd send, the, like, because it's all done online now, you'd get like a portal where you've got all your documents on. Then your document, and it'd be worded like some ancient, historic... I don't know what that means. And yeah, and you call the solicitors to understand what it is, and they're like, oh no, um, we'll have to give you a call back, something like that. And then and, they don't, and call, they don't back. call back. So. It was shit. People are getting emails off them, like asking me to, to rate them and that. I feel, like, I, feel like, I feel like taking the time to rate now. Nah, that's Karen. <laughs> oh, I ain't a Karen. The paint used in your living room and what shade? <laughs> this paint is from Being Cute. It's, um, like custom. it's called Coco Dust. You go to the desk and like give them these cards and they mix the colour for you. It's Valspar. 
I think that's how you say it, but it's being cute and it's called Cocoa Dust. I've had so many questions on this paint. Uh, did you have any surprise costs that a first time buyer would need to know, like stamp duty? So as long as your house is below 300k and you're a first time buyer, you don't pay stamp duty, but if you buy in your second house, any price, you do have to pay stamp duty. But first time yeah. buyers, for the most part, if your house is below 300k, you don't pay stamp duty. I don't um, even know how much stamp duty is. No, neither. Um, but in terms of fees, there's no real surprise fees, you just have to pay solicitor fees, which are not cheap. 1,900. That's what we paid. For, for them to do fuck all. <laughs> yeah. So we had to pay our solicitor as 1,900 and something pounds. Mm. I think it varies like what solicitors you go with, but we just use the solicitors that the estate agent said that they usually use because it's easier. So that's what we did. And that was a scam. It was a scam. But yeah, also, so that comes back to like the first question about the deposit. So yeah. you save up your deposit, you've got your deposit amount you've got to pay, the solicitor fees, maybe like between one and a half to two grand I'd say for solicitor fees yeah maybe just maybe above two grand sometimes mm -hmm. I reckon depends yeah but yeah that that needs to be factored into what you say so don't jump the gun and think right bang we've got 10% now can go and get the house you need to have your solicitor fees yeah yeah how long are you planning on staying in this house for good question that is a good question not well, basically we're not having kids in this house that is like the bottom line of it but we don't know how long we're going to be here it's at least two years I just I didn't want to that news, did I? Sorry, we're not having kids <laughs> in this house. We're not having kids for at least five years. <laughs> Shit, fuck up. I was like, but I'm, nah. we're not going to have this conversation right now because we disagree yeah, on it. We'll just end the video. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're not going to be having kids in this house purely because it's too small. Like, a family of four lived in here before us. I don't know how they all lived in this mm. house. Um, but I just don't want to like give up my dressing room for a kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got no chance. <laughs> Sorry. Kids they can live in that little, other back. Yeah, they can have the shed actually. They can have that little playhouse. This was never like bought to be our forever home. It's never bought yeah. to be the family home. It's just like our first house. Get on the property ladder. Get on the property ladder. Like Ideal for us too. Yeah. It is the perfect house for two people. Mm -hmm. Like it's not massive, but it's not tiny. But I definitely wouldn't have a family in this house. And there's a lot more we do the house. If this was like our forever home, we thought, yeah, we're gonna have kids here. Yeah. We would do a lot more with it than what we've actually planned. Yeah. Agreed. Mm. Like we're not walls down. We'd probably like extend, extend. It. but it's just we don't want to live here forever we yeah, want to go true. back to like more towards where we lived before before we have kids yeah i think maybe three years four years max yeah i think as soon as we've got the money to buy something like bigger and better then we will yeah when the whole house is ours like, oh it'll be so nice just waking up and just not having to yeah because that's the thing like when you buy rest. a house if you're doing it oh you never chill <laughs> we'd never chill do no we chance. like this city barely gets sat on and it's just constantly in this well, like you enjoy it though, like you, you just get stuck in and you enjoy it. Yeah, like if you saw our kitchen right now, guys, we're having the bathroom done literally, what day is it Tuesday? Thursday. In two days. So we've got a bath, we've got a shower, we've got a toilet, we've got a sink, everything's in the darling room, it's got some stress. <laughs> by the end of this weekend, it'll be gone. <laughs> so looking to buy myself, what are the first steps do you need to see a mortgage advisor first? So the first step when you're buying a house is you need to find out how much you like can actually borrow off the bank. So a mortgage is basically, how would you explain a mortgage? So a mortgage is you just lend money off a bank to buy a house and you pay the money back. That's how a mortgage works. Like you obviously don't have like 200 and thousand pounds to buy a house and it's yours. So you borrow it off the bank. So the first thing you need to do is find out how much you can borrow. And you can do it online. You do it on like banks, websites and stuff like that. Or speak to a mortgage advisor. We spoke to a mortgage advisor. If you literally just go online and type in AIP calculator. Oh yeah, it's called an agreement in principle. Yeah. Yeah, agreement principle. Let's say it's you and your partner. You put you put in the salaries. What else you put in? There's there's loads of different things it's you put in like on there. What you what comes in and then what you pay for. Yeah, yeah. But like what lending you've got, what creditors you've got, and all that stuff. How you like how much you can borrow for a mortgage. I would say it's easier to speak to a mortgage advisor because they can like advise you a bit better than you just doing it online. Once you fill out the whole form, it will tell you at the end like how much you can borrow. So you can then use that to go and view properties. So yeah. When, you, when you're looking at properties within your price range, they will ask you if you agree, have you got an agreement in principle? And that's basically just the bank promising they'll borrow you that amount of money. Yeah, like if, if you put an offer on that property and it gets accepted, the bank's agreement in principle basically means that they will borrow you that amount of money. Yeah. I think as well, when you are looking for a house, you can look a bit higher and you can look lower. Because sometimes you can get them down. We actually paid more for our house than what they were asking for because they yeah. sent me off a fight. Kind of annoying. But yeah, you can usually like get prices down. Yeah, I think that's what my mum did, but 
that that was like years ago. I don't know whether you can. I don't know whether that happened now. I don't. I think a lot of the properties that are selling now are either going for over the price or over. You can still look and offer though. Yeah, you don't can. Actually there's, don't there's no. Yeah, you can literally offer anything. Yeah. So view properties that you want to go and and look at, and a bit of advice as well. Don't. Like if, if you don't love the first pro I'm not saying don't get the first property or put an offer down on the first property, but until you both agree on a property, don't go for it. Like just but, wait. Yeah, just but at the same time, out. you can put an offer in and you're not like tied into that. So you can put yeah. an offer in and just see what happens yeah, at the same time. Exactly, yeah. So if you put an offer in, don't think shit. That's my house now because you can't put it. If they accept, like, um, you can just say, now nah, I don't want it. I've looked at another property and I prefer that one. It's literally yeah. simple as that. It, we got lucky, as I said. We did. But the, fir the first house that we looked at, Shan loved it. I wasn't keen on it. Oh, I loved it. It was just the area was a bit dodgy. And like, she kept on trying to convince me to like go for this property. And then we saw a second one that I liked. But then when we actually viewed it, it wasn't as nice. It was just nice on the photos. This, this one that we saw. I saw it online, sent it to Shan, she didn't like it. She was still at this point trying to convince me to go with the first property. <laughs> we even put an offering it. on the first property. Yeah, we did. And then we were like, actually. That's as it. soon as I left this house, I was like, I want to leave something. <laughs> like, she looked right at the things right properly as well. Because we just rushed around this house, so we didn't realise how much work actually needs doing. Like, every single wall has got wallpaper on it, which means we pulled the wallpaper off. The walls are all shit underneath the whole house. Yeah, so get it plastered. Has to be replastered. Ow. And it costs money, man. We're lucky that my stepdad's a plaster, so obviously it's a lot cheaper, but these are yeah. the things you need to like, look at. Or if you're not bothered about it, you can just paint over the wallpaper, but we didn't want to have the wallpaper. These what it is. Yeah, we've lived here over a month now. We've only got living room done, and Shan's filming room's nearly done. Bathroom's being done this weekend. Bathroom's being we, we can't do that ourselves. No. If, you, if, you're, if you're handy, like, if you've got a boyfriend that's handy, or if you are handy. Not lucky. I'm joking. I'm, oh, I'm actually room, good, so. mate. <laughs> You're gonna save so much money. Yeah, or if you know friends or family that do it, you'll save so much money. But there's, there's things, so I've learned how to do skirting. Obviously, we painted. What else do we do? Flooring. Mm. YouTube is your best friend as well, by Yeah, just, just go and buy a, a, a jigsaw. Not or a, a drill, a drill. Yeah. Not a jaw, a saw. <laughs> yeah, buy a saw <laughs> and you can do the flooring yourself. How long did it take from viewing to moving in? Too long. As was six months, so I think that's normal. But they kept promising us, you'll be in by Christmas. So they were like, oh, oh two months. And it was like January and we was like, mm, it's still not in. And then it was February and we was like, still waiting. So it did take six months overall. Our offer was accepted in September, right after we got back from Dubai. No, right before we went to Dubai. Before we went to Dubai. It took six months. So it's September, October, November, December, January, February, March, six mm. months. If you are buying a house, don't expect it to be a quick process because it's really not. Worst thing was as well, we was expecting it to take six months, like people were telling us it takes longer than six months. We were happy to wait. It was the false hope. Yeah. You'll be in by Christmas. False hope, yeah, it got, got us, man. Did you put 50-50 to the house? My boyfriend earns more than me, so it'd be hard for me to do that. Yeah, we put 50-50 to the house. But Deposit 50-50, bills now, like 50-50, ain't it? And then having the work done, it's pretty much 50 50. We're not like, oh, you owe me £3.75. Because yeah. that's the difference. Yeah. But we just, we basically pay 50 50. But I think it depends on your situation. If your boyfriend's happy to put more, happy days. Go for it. But put down when you see the mortgage people how much you own each. So if he wants to, like, if he's paying more and he wants to, like, just his half to 60 or whatever, you can do that. Or if he's happy to just pay half because he's an angel, pay more than half because he's an angel. Mm -hmm. I mean, it depends on personal. Circumstances and situation, yeah. And at the same time, if he's earning more, it means you can borrow more, which means you can get a big house. I agree with you. Agreed? Yep. It doesn't have to be 50-50, it's just whatever you are comfortable with, really. So we've had a few which are pretty much the same. It's how long did it take for you to save your deposit? So we were saving for about two and a half years. It helps to buy ours, sir. Like, when, when we opened it, you are allowed to put in a grand. Yeah, which we both nothing, did. Nothing more. So we put the grand in, and then we, like, every month we just put £200 in. And then throughout that time we save X amount. Like if you've got savings outside of the house bar so that you want to put towards your deposit then you, you can, can do, do that. that. You don't have to, it's not just the house bar, so that's your deposit. If you've got mm. more you can yeah, exactly. put that towards it as well to make it faster. But if you want to just, if you've got the house bar so you want to just keep it going in there, mm -hmm. you can do that because obviously you get 25% from the government. I mean take it while you can. How long did you save? How did you handle all the grown up stuff? Because I know nothing. Girl, same. I still know nothing. <laughs> I think that was ill. I'm just like, so yeah, So I literally sorted all money. of that stuff. Yeah. All of the bills, prices, everything. How did we handle it? 
Uh, I didn't. I don't know how to explain it. Like when we got here, I didn't know who the energy provider was. It's probably in the it's probably in the solicitor documents. To be fair, but I had to reach out to the seller basically and ask them who was with gas and electric. That come that was a real big shock, you know. Not a real big shock. It's based on like the last twelve months of usage. So before us, it was a family of four. So it's gonna be double what so we actually should be paying. So we pay yeah. double. So we have to pay based on what they used throughout that year. Yeah, but we will get that back eventually. It's a lot of bills you have to think about. But I think if you speak to someone that's got a mortgage already, like your mum and dad or your yeah. nan, they can tell you what you need. But basically, it's like council tax, home insurance. You have to have at least buildings insurance if you're buying a house. But we got buildings and contents. Um, else, gas, electric, water. TV license. I'm going to TV license, biggest scam ever, by the way. We had a letter come through because we just like, I didn't no, even think about TV, TV license. TV, yeah. And then we basically said, we'll then. send people around the house. <laughs> it was like, oh, <laughs> no, let's pay it then. <laughs> Everything else comes with like, optional, so like Sky or Wi Fi. You just take it on the chin, like as it comes. I mean, your mortgage advisor will tell you whether you can or can't afford that property, and you just kind of like go with the flow with mm. the bills. Bill comes, you pay it. Not really a way of handling it, except that's just. Just settle diet just debits on everything. Is. Yeah, settle diet debits on everything. You don't have to worry about it. Yeah, that's You're true. You're paying it manually every month. That's just another thing to worry about every month. Direct debits. So direct Save debits. The time. Set them all up. I feel like we can't actually explain what it's like to buy a house until you actually buy a house. There's a lot of stress, a lot of tears, <laughs> a lot of arguments, but it's all worth it in the end. So if yeah. you are looking to buy a house, good luck. First of all. <laughs> You're gonna need it. You're making it sound so bad. No, it's not even bad. Once you're in it, it's so worth all the stress. Yeah, it's just the. 100%. Just don't let them promise you that you'll be in a, a month because that's not gonna happen, basically. Mm -hmm. They were all like the main questions. There was loads of questions, so thank you if you did ask a question, but the loads of them were like similar, so we just sort of just like yeah. group them into. And so if you've got any more, comment them down below and we will reply. Oak was the main mortgage man, so he has all the knowledge. I still don't know how to buy a house. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone will have their own journey, won't they? So it's exactly. not like you're going to have the exact same journey as us. You might have some that's such that are great. Point. That is such a good point. Is it? Yeah. Mind them for that. Thanks. Everyone's journey is different. Um, I hope your solicitors are good. <laughs> for the <laughs> yeah, sake of your brains. For the sake of your relationship. Yeah. Um, if we didn't answer your question, then leave it down below. We'll reply. But yeah, I'm going to end the video here. The long awaited home buying QA. Yes. So I'm going to end this video here. So thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, Give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below for more. And yeah, hope it's helped. And we'll see you soon with a brand new video. Bye.